heading into the fighting dojo. We we're ready to get buff. We we're ready to get strong. Fighting Mitch, I like to say, the fighting dojo. Today we're going to be running the uh, a Blastoise deck. Let's make it rain because <laughs> that's pretty much a lot of Blastoise cards over the years. Um, have had a very similar sort of ability, allowing you to attach more than one water energy uh, per turn. So obviously it's one normally. Starting out with Squirtle. Um, Got to hopefully get something nice. We'll put play this Lapras. See, Lapras is a decent kind of backup if we need it. Lapras has Water Gun and a Confuse Ray ability. One, uh, one energy and then a two. So we can kind of hit for some fairly decent sort of damage early on with something like a Lapras. Because Lapras is pretty good to get, say, like I say, one energy on, two energies on, while we're still maybe trying to, to cycle through and get um, something to, to get this Squirtle up to a Blastoise, you know, maybe looking for Pokemon Trader um, or even Pokemon Breeder. They're the, kind of the two big ones that really help a lot of um, Stage 2 decks. I mean, we'll see a lot of it where... Well, we use uh, Pokemon Trader. Pokemon Trader is very much akin to, uh, you know, Pokemon communications nowadays. So you will use a Pokemon in hand to search for uh, any other Pokemon that you need. So, like I say, it's pretty much Pokemon communications from what we have now. Um, and then obviously Pokemon Breeder is the rare candy of today. So I don't want to throw away the um, the Wartortle or the Blastoise. So, I mean, I could have done so to use the... Um, the Professor Oak in hand to get seven more, but I want to hold off on them. So Stretch Kick, I love that animation for Stretch Kick. It's fantastic. It just comes straight on. Literally quite stretchy. So that is the Blastoise. We'll get him up. Rain Dance, like I say, lets us attach. Uh, as often as you like during your turn, you may attach one Water Energy card to one of your Pokemon. So we'll attach the two. Draw. Now we can use the Oak. So, I mean... I, yeah, oh, and look at all those water energy. So we'll even load up the Lapras ready. Blastoise, again, all loaded. I think that is as far as we can really go with his uh, Hydro Pump move to get 60 damage. I think that's the max anyhow. But that's enough to take out Hitmonlee. We'll take our first energy. Another water. Uh, first prize, another water one. Yeah, some other cards in the deck that I, uh, I picked out. Um, obviously... We've got all the Blastoise line, Lapras as we've seen. I do have an Articuno um, floating about. <laughs> floating about, I guess. Um, yeah, pretty energy heavy, especially in, like, say, the kind of original um, sets. Because, look, I mean, three energies for 30 damage to nowadays wouldn't cut it. You'd want some kind of incredible, uh, incredible effect on top of that. So we do have a, uh, another Kuno in deck, like I say, right there. We'll get out another Squirtle because just in case, you know, we can, uh, if anything ever happens to this one, we can do it. So we'll pop on all these water energies onto the Squirtle to ready up. Yeah, his uh, Defender card definitely stops us there from taking the the, the next prize. See, this Blossom is taking a fair chunk of damage. Computer search. Both computer searches and Pokemon Center. I, uh, I'm going to leave it off for now. I'm going to do another one. Just take it out now. Because I might use the computer search for something else in just a little bit. And obviously I don't want to get rid of everything just yet. But yeah, like I say with the Articuno, very energy heavy. Um, but, but paired up with the Blastoise, um, you know, you can pretty much get it up in one go. I mean, Articuno, like I say, the 3 for 30. I mean, it's in a flip, a coin flip to see if you get paralysis but like i said three for 30 and a coin flip now like that's that's out of the question you you wouldn't want that at all four for 50 i mean, I mean like i say back in the day that was kind of what we had you know there was very few cards that had really strong one energy two energy uh, uh moves well we'll come into certain ones because obviously for, for the most part Really, all we've seen so far in this series is a Charizard that needed four energies, um, and you were discarding those energies, uh, and a Blastoise that, well, needs three, is able to uh, 
to just get on as many as we like. So I did heal up, but it, <laughs> but to get anything back to where we were kind of hoping to be, I've just taken just as much damage. So maybe it wasn't quite the, the, the correct play there. Another fairly probably decent partner for Blastoise could well have been Charizard. You now you can put on as many energies as you like during a turn, and while you have to discard two of those energies, you can quite easily get them back and attach them straight away. So, yeah, getting two stage threes up, pretty pretty difficult, uh, especially when like we don't have all that much. Actually, no, it's probably it's probably easier in terms of this, you know, the old days than now because of now. Uh, okay, even then we've got quite a few different things that help build up uh, build up into stage 2s like Meganium uh, in recent is effectively its ability is just rare candies uh, forever you, know, you can use whatever to or use the ability to evolve as many basic Pokemon into stage 2s but yeah <laughs> all the Blastoise, the gang's all here uh, and speaking of gang I suppose uh, shout outs to the old the original gang Squirtle Squad, with Squirtle Squad openings, you know, I'm sure he'll really enjoy this episode. Uh, oh, crumbs. I nearly, I just launched my phone across the room. But anyway, never mind, it's fine. Um, see, Hitmonchan was one of the... I mean, we'll come into... I, I will do a deck with Hitmonchan, but Hitmonchan was definitely one of the... One of the strongest uh, early cards. You know, it, it, that had one energy for 20 damage and that was pretty solid it had a, a nice uh a secondary move with three energies for 40 i think um you know it paired up fairly well with quite a few different cards again with um a few others that have even one uh one energy attacks and, it, and and yeah the deck that i'll no doubt use that's pretty much maybe one of the most popular or the, the, maybe the one that just did the best in, in the early days uh, I'll go through at a later date so we do lose the one of our Blastoise but you know we are sitting on how many prize cards is that two or one I think it was one <laughs> see this Pokemon Breeder just load them up I don't think yeah see now I'm just going overkill putting on all of these energies but yeah 60 is the max that you can do with this attack and, and there's the victory, so that's fantastic. That's a second um, Titan down, shall we say. We get another medal, wonderful. And it seems I didn't save after the last, uh, the last recording. So I'll have to go back and beat him. I might even go use this deck and just go uh, trounce him real quick. Taking out weakness, double Mewtwo's in both our packs. But fantastic. Um, got a little something next time to be getting on with. But yeah. I've been Andy from Bill's Lighthouse. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, take care. And I'll see you in the next episode. Mm -hmm.